Nicholas Mack, yes. Well, today I'm in Zubuntu 16.04.4, the latest update to the LTS, okay? There's a simple reason for this. Um, Mr. P, Mr. Popey, wanted people to try out his Snap, okay? So basically, I'm going to use this drive for just testing Snaps, flat packs, and app images, okay? So he wanted people to test them out, and I thought I'd give it a go. Now, I'm going to record it in Simple Screen Recorder so you can see what I'm doing. But I must, I will tell you later in the video how it all goes, okay? Okay. And you're saying, well, why have you got two terminals open, Sneaky? Well, one so you can see what resources I'm using. Remember, I'm recording at the same time in 1080p, 60 frames a second. Yeah. I could do 4K, but there's no point because most of you haven't got a 4K monitor. So that's pretty pointless at the moment, isn't it, really, when you think about it? So I'll move my terminal up here. They're always going to be always on top, okay? So you can see what we're doing. So anyway, so here's Snapcraft, okay, so you, if you want to do stuff with snaps and make your own snaps, go here. I'm not going to explain about it until Sunday when I do the video on snaps, flat packs, and app images. And the noise in the background is Sneaky Boy making himself a nice little hot chocolate before he goes to bye bye. Although he's a big boy now. Okay, he's 13, okay. So anyway, <clears throat> he called out for people to go and try this snap, the OBS snap. So I'm going to show you how to install it. Now, um, this is for Ubuntu-based systems, that's Linux Mint, a lot of Linux-based distributions. If you want to install Snap itself, that's a different kettle of fish, but I will show you by Sunday, okay, how to install Snaps on other operating systems at the end of the day. That's what we're going to do. And the reason I've come to the, video, the uh, webpage is to just to do this, basically, so I can copy and paste, because I'm really, really lazy. Now, so you're running Ubuntu, Ubuntu, whatever Ubuntu you're running, or Mint, or a Ubuntu-based distribution, a latest one, you should have Snaps installed by default anyway. But not always. If that's not correct, somebody tell me why. So what I'm going to do first is copy and paste this. So install Snap, OBS Studio, space, Diffy Diffy, Candidate. So I'm going to copy that and put it in my terminal over here. So paste it. I mean, this is the easiest way to do it. You can type it if you want to, I don't care. So, what's my password? Password's there. Okay. Oh, it's already installed. It's told me it's already installed. Because it is already installed. If you want to use your camera, you do the next one. Just snap connect OBS Studio Camera. And to run it, you can either run snap, run OBS Studio, snap bin OBS, all depends if you've got it already installed, because maybe we've got different versions installed, so it's entirely up to you. But this is a completely new uh, install, basically. Get rid of you. So anyway, how does it run? Well, I can tell you, it runs no different from the ordinary OBS install. Okay. Okay, so I'll open it up for you, so you can see. So we're going into there, multimedia, OBS. There we go. OBS runs fine. I'm not going to record it now because I'm already recording with a simple screen recorder. But I've tested it thoroughly and recorded this audio and other stuff. It's just it's just exactly the same as running it from the PPA or a repo. Okay. All I would say is if you're not used to snaps, flat packs, and app in images, it takes a little while to get going. So this is why. I'm, this is why I'm starting to do snaps and that, just to see if they get any better on booting up. But in the day for me. But for the actual program itself, it runs no different from the one you would install from your repository at the end of the day. Yes, I'm running 1.34 gigs of RAM here, but I'm recording at 60 frames a second, and it would be. There'd be no difference with it whatsoever. And I've captured videos online, offline. I've put my camera stuff in. It just does the stuff. So, if you just want to run a snap, okay, you just don't want to run a repo, or you want to be available, available to, um, say, just uninstall it whenever you want to, just run a snap. It's entirely up to you. But flat packs are also there, and app images as well. But I thought I'd give our a bit of help here, just 
just see how it runs, and it runs perfectly. I can't fault it. It, j it just runs there. It does. As you can see, even though I'm not recording OBS, it is here. Okay, it's recording my mic, so you can see what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we'll say see you later. So yeah, that's what I can say really. But it runs perfectly. I. I'm a bit of post snaps and flat packs, but good bad. Uh, so I've got to get with the times sometimes, you know, used to get with the times. Under P sensor, if I go down here, so the machine's running perfectly, it's okay. It's got up to 40 degrees, that's quite acceptable on my machine. Remember, I've got like, loads of cores and stuff, and loads of RAM and whatever. Okay. Yeah, so I've got 32 out because 1604.44. Still uses a swap file or okay. So if I'd left the other 32 gigs of RAM in, I'd have 64 gigs of RAM for swap. I don't really want that. Okay. But on the whole, if you want to install the snap, no problem. But by Sunday, you'll have my video on installing snaps, flat packs, and app images. Okay. But yeah, if you want to run a snap, okay, and you've got a Linux Mint distribution or any Ubuntu based distributions, this will be fine for you if you just want to do it quickly get it out of the way I've, I've uh, actually asked him to put a couple of extra bits in it if that come to fruition another thing sneaky Linux out I'll see you later bye bye